get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with Jeff and Bubba's Fine Foods. And this is delicious, actually, the Grand Garlic Parm. And it's a banana chip. That's right. And, but I want to find why Bubba Fine Foods. Well, Bubba was named after my brother-in-law, who was a nick, had nicknamed Bubba as a child. Okay. okay. And my brother-in-law is Jared Menzel, and he's a gourmet chef. And he happened to make a paleo Chex Mix, if you will, using bananas, nuts, and his grandmother's Chex Mix recipe. And at the time, I was eating a paleo diet. As do I. Okay, very yeah. good. And I was direly missing salty crunch at the time. Mm. It, was, it was five years ago, it was kale, uh, kale chips and pork rinds that were available. <laughs> and so when he made this for me, I fell in love, and all I could think was, how do I buy more of this from you? Right. Um, and so this was just a one-off. He was just making it for himself. He, he was making it for himself. Um, he took it to a family vacation, and on this vacation, we were all together, and I ate his entire supply. And I just said, "Hey, let, let, how can I buy more of this from you?" And then one thing led to another, and we were googling how to start up a snack food company together. And like two months later, after that vacation, he had his first package of grain-free snack mix uh -huh. made. And we, we were, and yeah, and so we did it together. He, yeah, he, he made the first bag himself, and that's when I said, can I, can I join you and help sell, you, uh, sell this product? <laughs> so that's, that's how it got started. Yeah. So your personal favorite flavor? Uh, the very first product he made, the Savory Original Snack Mix, is what I fell in love with. Still my favorite. Still your yeah. favorite? Yeah. And yeah. then what's a uh, fan favorite? What's most popular? Uh, so that one is... Uh, tied with Grand Garlic Parm, uh, Nana Chips, those two are our top two flavors. How do you guys decide on new flavors? Well, do you take it to market? Do you guys just sit in the in the kitchen just yeah. eating things? Yeah. We, we seriously just sit in the kitchen and eat different things and if we like it and then we take it to the market. Um, we're starting to reverse that a little bit now that we're seeing some data from what our competitors are selling well with. Uh, for example, sea salt is extremely popular fa flavor, even though it's a little bit more bland and not adventurous, it's the number one seller. So mm. that is telling us from market data, we need to be producing another flavor, such as sea salt. But normally, but normally we just think about, oh, we like that potato chip flavor. Uh, let's, make the, let's see if we can make that with super clean, simple ingredients. Um, Talk about some of the ingredients, because I was reading the ingredients, it's interesting, because it's green saba bananas. Right. Yeah, so that's a special banana variety from the Philippines. Uh, there's two different branches of bananas. There's cooking bananas and there's dessert bananas. So everyone's familiar with the Cavendish banana, which is a dessert banana in the produce aisle. Um, on the other side is cooking bananas, and so people are most familiar with a plantain, which is a cooking banana. Right. This is another style of cooking banana called the Saba banana, grown in the Philippines and Thailand. So there's less sugar typically. In those. Super low sugar. It's high resistant uh, starch, uh, good prebiotics in those, no banana taste, um, but still all the good uh, potassium, magnesium, vitamins that you'd find in a, in a ripe yellow banana. And there's yeah. organic apple cider vinegar. That, that's been on the, the health craze for, for right, a while. Right. What's interesting about vinegars, vinegars are great for you. Most of the time when you get into snack food and those bold flavors, uh, people are using a powdered, powdered vinegar, which has maltodextrin in it as well, which is not as healthy for you. Now, there's, right. a, nice, there's a nice burst of flavor, but the first thing we want is, is it good for the human body? Right. And then secondly, is it good for you? When those two match up, then we use it. And so... So, Jeff, yeah. when you go to market with this and, and you 
get it as far as wide as possible. Yeah. Talk about some of the uh, challenges with it and talk about some of the, the great things yeah. with it. Well, the, the biggest challenge with growing and starting up a brand is getting people to become aware of it. Most people, when they see a brand they haven't heard of, they're not too adventurous and don't want to try it. So the biggest Unless challenge... Unless it's named Bubba's, in which yeah, case... Yeah, Bubba's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's the biggest challenge, right, is to get people to know who Bubba's is and then for them to try it. Um, so that's... there's. It's easy to do when you have unlimited resources. Uh, it just most takes... Most people don't. Most people don't. Yeah. So you have to get a little scrappy with it. Um, Talk about some scrappiness. The scrappiness is getting it in, for example, in a grocery store, oh, getting okay. it in multiple places in a grocery store. Uh, if you're just on the shelf, you get often missed. But if you happen to be in the checkout aisle or on the salad bar or whatever, and so scrappiness is getting into a grocery How do you store. Do that? Well, so on a national level, you pay a lot of money to the corporate. On a retail, on a local level, you go into the grocery store, you make friends, and you start asking and begging uh, for favor, and you get it. So yeah, you yeah. just got to be, you just got to be scrappy yeah, that totally. way. Yeah, yeah. So where can people find it? Where can people get it? Well, nationally, it's online. So Amazon and our website, bubbasfoods.com. Bubbasfoods.com. Uh, yeah, um, we we're in about 1,800 stores nationwide, uh, mostly concentrated in Colorado. You're based in Colorado. Colorado and then also Texas and California, but every state has us. Our website has a store locator where you can find a store that's close to you. Yeah. And then uh, going on Amazon, your website, um, what are the different types of packaging or what can people buy? Like a one pack or is there like a multi pack? Yeah, on our website and Amazon, they're multi packs. Mm -hmm. Buying one bag at a time is tough on the e commerce side. Um, so, yeah, the three packs, six packs, eight packs, depending on the flavor and the size. Okay. Yeah. So through this journey so far, Jeff, what's been a real proud moment for you? You know, I would say uh, one big proud moment of mine was when we first landed in about 30 7-Eleven stores in Colorado. Mm. So one of my big... It's like the healthiest thing you could get at a 7-Eleven probably. Well, What's great is what great is 7-Eleven and along with many other convenience stores are changing. Uh, the market, the mar they see the market the need man. for better foods, and so they're they're answering that call. And to me, I've just I used to be a CrossFit trainer and a health coach, and I was always tell my clients, hey, you need to pack your food on a road trip. Do not rely on gas station food, totally. because you're not going to find anything there. So bring it yourself. So when we arrived in a gas station at 7-Eleven, I thought, okay, things are changing. We've we've arrived. <laughs> you know, we're providing good for you food in a gas station. Totally. Yeah. Tell people again where can they go online to find you? What's the website? Okay, bubbasfoods.com is our website, yeah. and of course Amazon. All right. Bubbafoods.com. Thanks, guys. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, nice like a peach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand.